Hi, so I'll be talking about how to generate and make posters for the UW student seminars. Um, and again, this video is for organizers for UW student seminars. Uh, so first, first of all, um, the st first step is to go to the repository, WMSS slash seminar. And if you go to the readme, there is a link to the marketing poster. So it's the fourth link. If you click that, it will take you to the marketing poster. And what this is, is just an uh, automatically generated poster. Um, now, let's say the title is too long, maybe it overflows, and you don't want that to happen. You can actually edit the field. So if you click it, you can change the content of the title. Uh, this field is also editable, so you can change um, that if need be. And this field is also editable. So check the poster for any problems and edit um, out the problems if there's a need to. Uh, the next step is to take a screenshot of the poster. So um, I'll do this with Firefox. On Firefox what you can do um, is you can right click the poster and press inspect element and in the inspection window here you have you should have something that says div class equals mini page. So that, that mini page is the poster itself. It's 850 pixels by 1100 pixels. And what you can do is you can actually right click and press screenshot. Now if you do this directly, you get a picture of resolution 850 by 1100. Sometimes um, you might prefer a higher resolution. So to do that, what you can do is actually zoom in. Zoom in twice. So on Firefox, you can press Control plus, um, or Control equals rather. And you can see up here, the zoom is right now, it's at 110%. Uh, you can zoom up to, say, like 300%, and that will get the resolution up to uh, nine times as many pixels as 850 by 1100. So if you screenshot that, what it will do is it will save an image to uh, your downloads folder. So this is what the image looks like. And you can see, well, in this case, there's a misspelling here, and that got screenshotted. But you can actually ignore that by um, adding the misspelling to the dictionary. Uh, so that would avoid the, the underline. But otherwise, you have a picture and has resolution about three times what default is, which is fairly decent, decent enough for a poster. Um, so this is a PNG file, and it could be printed directly. But sometimes you might prefer a PDF file. There are a lot of ways to convert PDFs, uh, PNGs to PDFs. Um, one way that I like to do it uh, is to use image magic, but I understand that uh, different folks who have different operating systems might have their own way of doing it. With image magic, which I think you can download for Windows or Linux, it's actually very easy to do so. So if you open a terminal window, um, go to the downloads folder, and then in here what you do is you type convert, and actually normally it's nice to uh, rename the the file. I believe this is the file. Rename the file to something that makes a little more sense. So say you know maybe 501 for May 1st, uh, and then I might call it poster. If you rename it to something like 501 poster, we can we can convert that to a PDF like that, and then we have a, a PDF. You can open it. You can see here's a PDF. It's ready for printing. Uh, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.